Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest. Mariupol Art School sheltering 400 bombed. Say officials. Live. Summary of headline article. 108 Australia has banned the sale of alumina and aluminium ores to Russia in response to what it described as unrelenting and illegal aggression towards Ukraine. Reports Christopher Knaus. The country's federal government has been under pressure to stop the export of alumina to Russia. With critics warning it was potentially allowing Australian resources to be used in munitions manufacturing. The government overnight announced it was ceasing all exports of alumina and aluminum ores, including bauxite, to limit Russia's ability to produce aluminium, a major Russian export and a critical component in arms and munitions. Russia relies on Australia for 20% of its alumina needs. From Huff Post under the main headline of, A National Embarrassment. Boris Johnson condemned for comparing Ukraine war to Brexit vote. Summary of headline article. Prime Minister Boris Johnson speaking at the Conservative Party Spring Forum at Winter Gardens. Blackpool. Peter Byrne via PA Wire. PA Images Boris Johnson has been severely criticized after he compared Ukrainians' fight against the Russian invasion to the UK's decision to vote for Brexit. The Prime Minister said that, like the people of Ukraine, the UK had chosen freedom in the 2016 referendum. He is no Churchill. He is Basil Fawlty. Former European Council President Donald Tusk tweeted. Boris Johnson likens Ukrainians' fight to British people voting for Brexit. Boris. Your words offend Ukrainians. The British and Common Sense. Advertisement. From Mail Online under the main headline of Russian airstrike, hit school with 400 Ukrainians. Sheltering inside. Summary of headline article. Advertisement authorities in the besieged Ukrainian port city of Mariupol say that the Russian military has bombed an art school where about 400 people had taken refuge. Earlier Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Russia's siege of the port city was a terror that will be remembered for centuries to come. Russia's defense ministry said this month that Russia had prepared 200 buses to evacuate citizens of Mariupol. Rescue workers on Sunday were still searching for survivors in a Mariupol theater that local authorities say was flattened by Russian airstrikes on Wednesday. Meanwhile feared Chechen special forces are fighting house to house in the besieged port city. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Kate Stuns in Blue is Cambridge's Arrive in Belize. For Caribbean Tour. Summary of headline article. Tihi Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have arrived in Belize for the start of their Caribbean tour to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. They landed on Saturday and spent around an hour chatting with Prime Minister Johnny Bryceno and his wife Rosanna. The Prime Minister and his wife then invited Kate and William to sit in a lounge area in his office. Building which overlooks the ocean. It will be replaced with a similar visit that will see the couple tour a chocolate producer on. Sunday and later travel to the cultural center of the Garifuna community in Hopkins. This beachfront village is known for its welcoming nature and will greet the couple with a demonstration of Garifuna culture. From BBC under the main headline of Clerkenwell. Police search for man after murder of student. 19. Summary of headline article. I share their sadness and their concerns. And I can assure them that a thorough homicide investigation is underway.
led by skilled and experienced detectives who will work tirelessly to identify and arrest whoever is responsible. From BBC under the main headline of Wirral Marshland Fire may have been started deliberately. Summary of headline article. There were so many people there enjoying the beautiful sunset. I've never seen anything like it. It was like the sky was on fire. From Daily Star under the main headline of Met Office predicts week-long sun is soaring. Temperatures and heat wave loom. Summary of headline article. According to some forecasters, some regions are expecting highs of 21 C through the end of March, leading to a mini heat wave. BBC weather forecaster Darren Bett said, The weather is really settling down. There is going to be a lot of dry weather, probably for the next week or so. Image. Getty Images. The Met Office has issued an update on the potential of an April heat wave to scorch Brits this spring. Weather expert Jim Dale spoke about the potential of warmer weather this season. April is expected to be warmer as the country gradually warms up to summer but temperatures could be above average for this time of year. From The Guardian under the main headline of the power of the new Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Ukraine has been an independent country for more than half Vladimir Putin's adult life. He turns 70 this year. Ukraine was well into its second era. Its European era. When Putin invaded last month. To talk about European Ukraine isn't to describe an achieved state but a state of hope. Hope of membership in the European Union more meaningful to Ukraine. At least until Russia attacked. Then membership of NATO. Beyond the material hopes of European era Ukraine. There is the prospect. Less tangible and more powerful. Of an alternative form of nationhood. The beauty of the EU. For Ukraine. Is the capaciousness of its model for both liberals and nationalists. From the Independent under the main headline of Kinzhal Missile. The hypersonic weapon Russia used for the first time in Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Russia's military has claimed to have fired a hypersonic ballistic missile to destroy a large weapons depot in Ukraine. Ukraine's air force confirmed a Russian missile strike in the Ivano-Frankisk region but did not. Clarify the weapons used. What is a hypersonic missile? The Royal Navy and French Navy have been developing a hypersonic missile of their own since 2011. And it is expected to enter service in eight years. Whilst seemingly using the Kinzhal for the first time. Russia has used an array of weapons against Ukraine during the war. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine War. Western agents seek to get inside Putin's head. Summary of headline article. But a concern now is that reliable information is still not finding its way into Mr. Putin's closed loop. His intelligence services may have been reluctant before the invasion to tell him anything he did not want to hear. Offering rosy estimates of how an invasion would go and how Russian troops would be received before the war. And this week one Western official said Mr. Putin may still not have the insight into how badly things are going for his own troops that Western intelligence has. That leads to concern about how he might react when confronted with a worsening situation for Russia. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.